But first, it's time to do your taxes and it's not just the IRS wanting your money. It's people who are acting like the tax man but really aren't. Yeah, a member of the local sheriff's department got a call and recorded it so you know what to look out for. Ten on your side's Chris Horn has more for us now. Chris? Stephanie, this alert came to us from the Isle of Wight Sheriff's Department, but it really could have come from any local agency. These scams pop up just about everywhere every tax season. Here's what to watch out for and listen for when someone calls claiming they're from the IRS. Ever get a phone call that sounds like this? You will be taken under custody by the local cops as there are four serious allegations pressed on your name at this moment. The caller claims to represent some sort of enforcement agency for the IRS. If you take the bait and call them back, they try to make it sound like you're in big trouble, claiming the IRS has filed a lawsuit against you. If you do not pay, then they, you'll be under custody for the next six months. So you mean I'll get arrested? Yeah, you'll be getting arrested after we disconnect this call. Well, in this case, the taxpayer, Mr. Wilson, was actually an Isle of Wight Sheriff's investigator, talking to the fake IRS agent who told him he owed $4,300 in unpaid taxes. The fake agent tells Mr. Wilson he can repay the bogus debt by only one method, a prepaid gift card. And they, uh, they say that you tell you to go to the bank and convert your money into this gift card and then you pay them in the gift card. Don't fall for it. IRS agents or law enforcement will never threaten arrest over the phone for unpaid taxes. IRS agents, n either them nor law enforcement, will ever ask citizens to secure funds via prepaid gift cards. If you get a call like this, hang up. Call police. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.